Hey, what's up gamers? So today I'm going to be teaching you how to actually solve the CSGO crash problem on Linux. Last tutorial, uh, I also showed a solution, but it only worked for some of you and I want to make one that actually works for everyone. So this one is the guaranteed solution. Well, not not guaranteed, but it's pretty close. Also, I hope you enjoy the better aspect ratio and mic quality. So I'm actually going to do it with you this time. So I'm going to launch CSGO and it'll open in second monitor so let me just move it over here and as you can see it launched it was I didn't hold on let me do this again okay you guys see that it didn't load that's that's what's supposed to happen which isn't a good thing, but that's what it's supposed to happen. I'm not sure what I just did. Maybe you guys can figure out what happened. But anyways, it doesn't load. So there are three things you want to do. So first, go to properties, local files, and hit verify integrity of game files. What this will do is look over all the files in CSGO and make sure that they're installed correctly. And even if you just installed the game, sometimes the files aren't right. So just hit the button. Uh, this isn't the solution, by the way, but this is just one of the things you want to do just to be prepared. So once you're done that, second thing you want to do is hit general launch options and hit dash no joy space dash no vid. What no joy and no vid will do is disable joy cons and disable the little splash screen, the little CSGO thing you saw. For some reason those sometimes both cause problems. So just add them there and that should also help. Now the final thing you want to do is go back to local files, hit browse, it'll open the CSGO folder, go into CSGO, panorama, and delete the videos folder. The videos folder contains videos of like the backgrounds of maps and stuff, which is what is behind your character in the CSGO lobby. And for some reason, these videos are kind of bugged and don't really work that well on Linux. So once you delete that folder, you can close out of your file explorer or terminal. Now you don't want to hit verify integrity because once you do that, it'll realize that the files are gone and re-download them and then your game will crash. So every time your game updates or you re-download the game, you want to Make sure to do all these steps and delete the videos folder. Finally, you can just close this window, hit play. Move this over here. And just hit wait if that opens. And then CSGO is pretty much guaranteed to launch. You are launching with a black screen, so it is a bit of a workaround. But I mean as long as you don't as long as you're okay with it, uh, it's fine. And then another thing, if you haven't seen my last tutorial. If the game crashes on initializing world, what you want to do is go down to multi-core rendering and disable it because I don't know, it just it, sometimes it doesn't work. And CSGO is kind of broken for Linux, so you just got to do some of these things. So let me just configure my settings real quick. All right, I've lowered my settings just so that the performance goes a bit better with recording. So also, So make sure to limit your FPS to whatever your monitor is set to, just so that your CPU isn't working harder than it needs to be. Sometimes you have to hit wait if it keeps asking you if uh, CSGO isn't responding, because sometimes it's just working in the background. And then once again, just a warning, this will not make you good at the game. If you're trash, you're still going to be just as trash. Also, make sure to clear out the dust from your computer. You know, not enough people do that. Crap. How do I... Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this worked for you. If you need any help, look for the comments. And also, there might be a part three to this if this doesn't work for enough people. So, uh, yeah, just make sure to check that. And remember to like, subscribe, and sponsor block this section. All right, peace.